G'day guys, Define from Define Mods here. Big fan of Uncle Jesse and recently he did a video uh, showing what glue he uses to um, fix parts or PLA. PLA especially for me it is, but um, then he asked at the end, what, what, what glue do you use? And um, I use Weldon or derivatives of it or derivatives of it. Um, that's that's uh, and it, this has all come about from um, all my modding with acrylics and um, you might know it more as um, perspex um, but yeah uh, there, there's some things that, that sometimes you, you have a break when you're printing or it's not practical to print do a two color print so it's easier just to uh, for the simple fact that uh, you you'll always get that line as you as you're printing your second color showing through um, so sometimes you, you might want to you might want to do something like that uh, where, you, where you have a logo so I've found that I've done the, the super glue trick and I've, I've tried all the other glues and everything but what, what I've found works by far the best because of the way it works um, it's not a bonding agent, um, it's a welding agent, um, where super glue is a bonding. So basically it sticks to suit two surfaces and then bonds between them. Uh, weld on or its derivatives, what it will do is it, it'll, it'll melt the two surfaces together, creating a fusion, like a fusion bond. So, so, so much like a welding process, where it'll get the two surfaces of what you're working on, melt the, the upper layer and fuse them together. And it really does work well and it works pretty quick too so um, it's not your typical like super glue where it's um, like like it's got um, um, uh, like a like a, a texture to it or a, a thickness to it this is a, a very runny uh, watery type solvent so the way I, I tend to deal with it is to um, have a couple of extra tools you don't you don't have to buy it in large quantities like this I go through it like it's you know, like I'm drinking the stuff, uh, but you're more than likely going to buy it in a much smaller, uh, much smaller uh, container. You can see it in there. It's just a very watery liquid. I apply it with this. A lot of guys use a syringe. These are cheap. You can buy them really, really for a couple of bucks or less off eBay. So I'll just take a bit of that. Have a squirt. I'll get a, a, enough in there to do the job, which that is, that's more than enough to muck around with. I'll always seal this back up, because being a uh, an acetone type base solvent, if you don't put your lid on, it's gone tomorrow. Um, so, so where do we start? We'll start with something like this wheel. These are little, um, little uh, filament runners. And you can see this one is as I've knocked the bearing and it's split. Now you can just print a new one. That's not the end of the world because, hey, that's what we do. Um, but if you're not so inclined to do that, you just want a quick fix. A quick fix would be to just run a bead of this down through the center. Of course you're going to be a lot less messy than I am with this. You can see that. So what I what I might be inclined to do now is is like what I do with these. So what I, I when I print these knobs for the uh, displays, if this is a little bit brittle, which this um, this shiny red is, it prints a bit brittle. Every time I knock one of these in, it splits that off. It'll just split it and it's gone. So what I've learnt to do now is I do a drop of this in there. I do more than a drop. I do a nice little little flooding in there, and I do all. And what it does is it just melts everything in there, and creates a really good bond, and fuses everything in there. Then I'll get the heat gun and I'll hit it with a little bit of heat. Once this dries, of course, I'll let it dry. Hit it with just a smidgen of heat. Bang that onto my um, onto my display uh, knob thingy, my spline never have a problem with it again it'll work forever but but that as you can see is already bonded that's not coming apart 
So it, it bonds very quickly. It joins your surfaces very quickly. It's a melting process, not a not a um, not a. This will always create um, because it's not going to um, um, uh, melt into the surface. This will always create a small layer between the two surfaces that it adheres to. Whereas this melts the layers, and you can see that there, there is just no more gap left there. And that will work as good as, as that. So with this one, I'd probably, just to make sure it didn't split, it doesn't hurt. I promise you, this, this isn't a bad thing. And you can run it, do a little dousing all the way around inside. And let that sit. And that will really, really work, I promise. So just a quick two surfaces. It doesn't even have to be the same, the same stuff. Get it on there. Now you'll watch how quick that evaporates if I just let it sit there for a tick. You can see it already starts evaporating. But say in this, get it around. So that's already creating a sticky bond between the two. You can see. So the sticky bond it's already creating because it's melting the two surfaces together. So if we were to leave that, again, if I was doing something like that, I'd probably pop it in a little. They say 12 hours or, or two minutes fixing times, 24 hours is 80% strength. But seriously, this is uh, this is brilliant. Same with that. I pop it in a little vise, hold it together, and then leave it overnight, and it'll be as good as if you printed it, if not actually better. It's very, very good stuff, this, and it works really well. I, I, I wasn't recommended it by anybody. Nobody told me to use this. It was just something I did from using, um, using this product on, on, um, on Perspex and acrylics. And I thought I'll give it a go and see how it works on this. So something like this, I run a bead around. It's unobtrusive. It will stain if, if it's running down the front or something. So if you get a little bit of it running down the front, it will mark and stain. So as that dries, it will, will leave a little bit of a mark and a stain. But, you know, it's not a hell of a lot. But a brilliant little product. And as you can see, that's only been on for a, a little while. But it's already, already taking me a bit to want to get those apart. And unlike super glue, where super glue will go brittle and just crack at some point, that's getting hard to knock off. So if I really do that, I can peel it apart, and then you can see how the two surfaces have become, trying to become one. It's melting the two surfaces together and creating a fusing, a fusing bond. So well done number three, all derivatives of it, brilliant stuff. Um, I'd imagine you can get it on eBay or Amazon or, or one of those joints. I just go into my local acrylic shop. I pay about 25, maybe 30 bucks for a, a tin that size. That will last me for a year. That, so that's, that's a good investment for that year. Um, other than that, I'm pretty sure you can get them way cheaper. Uh, if I was sticking this on, again, I'd just have a little squirt on the back all over. I do it a lot cleaner than this because uh, this is dodgy. Spin her over, stick her down, and that will bond. That's it. <laughs> Just that brilliant. Great stuff. Great stuff, guys. Highly recommended. And there's one for your Uncle Jesse. Well done, number three. Cheers, guys.